Good morning, Unity of the Valley Spiritual Center. I don't know if you see me yet, <laughs> but this voice you hear is Faith Rivera. I am streaming here from Honolulu, Hawaii, and I'm so happy to be with you. And I want to ask you to raise your voices, to sing, to welcome spirit in, okay? And you're just going to sing, stayed on spirit. Unless they give me a sign not to start yet. Shall I keep going? Yeah, here we go. Okay. It's like this. Woke up this morning with my mind. And you sing, stayed on spirit. I woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed on spirit. Stayed on spirit. I woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed. Yes, hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining Unity of the Valley Sunday Cyber Service. I'm Mark Sowell, and I'll be serving as your service leader today. Thanks to Zoom, Faith Rivera, our guest musician and speaker, comes to you all the way, as she said, from Hawaii. Faith, welcome. We're honored to have you with us today. Um, and she must be a morning person because it's 6 a.m. her time, and you wouldn't know it because she's got all that energy. So, we truly appreciate you. I'll introduce you more in a minute here. Uh, we greatly appreciate our musicians and speakers who are willing and able to join us on Zoom until we can return to our beautiful center. Quick observation for you. I, these are the things I ponder. Why isn't a unicorn called a unihorn? Isn't that interesting? Hmm. It's a good question. Uh, since she, Faith is from Hawaii, of course, I had to come up with a Hawaiian joke. So two men debate whether Hawaii is pronounced Hawaii or Hawaii? They ask a passerby who answers Hawaii. Thank you, says the satisfied first man, and the person says, you're welcome. Uh, we're also blessed to have several volunteers who make this service ha happen digitally each Sunday. Let me introduce, introduce you to those who are helping this morning. Sherry Johnson is serving as our daily word reader. Kathleen Navarre is, is delivering our prayer box blessing and leading our affirmations. Catherine Belisle is handling back-end Zoom matters to ensure our, our service goes smoothly and also showing our slides, which were created by Deanna Reese. 
We appreciate everyone's unique contribution. A few reminders for you. Unless you have a role in today's service, please keep your microphone on mute until the end. If you multitask while you watch this service, do turn off your video so as not to distract other viewers. Those controls are in the lower left-hand corner of the Zoom screen. Finally, please refrain from using the chat feature during the service. Thank you, and now get comfortable, tune out any distractions, and let in the love and light. After the service, you're welcome to stay on to say hello to the other Unity members and guests during our social, social time. Your mics will then be unmuted. Now I'd like to tell you more about our fine musician and speakers so as not to interrupt the flow of our meditation time later. From the sunny shores of Hawaii, Emmy award-winning singer, songwriter, Faith Rivera, opens hearts and transforms lives around the globe through the power of music. Her uplifting music is heard on shows from Hawaii Five-0 to Empire. She's been featured at venues from the Hollywood Bowl to the House of Blues and on stages from Tokyo to Rome, where audiences of all ages are engaged and energized through upbeat messages, music, and dance. This island girl is a great note award recipient for her contribution to the New Thought music and was recently seen in the movie As a Man Thinketh from 2017 with Reverend Michael Beckwith, Joey Vitale, and other empowering teachers. This year, Faith celebrates her 11th album release titled Rise, featuring a fiery call to action playlist showcasing a new sound blending pop, hip hop, what's called EDM, or electronic dance music, and more. When not creating her music or hosting upbeat virtual events, she adores spending time with her two kids, her high school sweetheart, and extended, well, I'm going to mispronounce this, oh Ohana, uh, or family on the island of Oahu. Did I do okay with that? <laughs> Excellent. For Faith, love is the answer, and music is her way to spread that love one song at a time, one heart at a time. Faith, we are thrilled to be able to have you host today, and please, thank you for joining us. At this time, we'd like to, uh, to welcome anyone who's watching our Zoom broadcast for the first time. Please join me in this special blessing together. We offer you peace, love, and friendship. We bless you, and we're glad you're here. It's now time for the reading of the Daily Word, followed by the blessing of the prayer box and the reading of our affirmations. Jerry's working. There we go. Start again. Good morning. As we move further into spirit with the daily word. The word for today is kindness. I flow with divine love as I give and receive kindness. The word kindness triggers feelings of warmth, connection, and love in my heart. I smile as I recall ways that friends, family members, others, have shown me kindness. I feel again the gratitude and blessing I experienced in those moments. Gratitude, love, and a beautiful awareness of fill my heart and mind in a remarkably similar way when I remember kindnesses. The movement of electrons through a white is a current, a flow. As kindness moves from person to person, it creates a flow of divine love. Both giving and receiving are essential to this current of love. So I look for opportunities to share acts of kindness. I welcome with a grateful heart the kindness others share with me. The Bible verse for today is, what does the Lord require of you to do? justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. Mike 6, 8. The word for today is kindness. Good morning. This prayer box holds an infinite number of virtual prayers. 
So I invite you to silently add your own prayers at this time. Add your own name and the names of anyone in your heart and on your mind who may need prayer support. These virtual prayers are known and will be addressed by the infinite. We know the truth behind all appearance of disharmony is the divine and perfect presence of the infinite, which we call God, spirit, and source. We call forth within all people, the wisdom and strength, the love and peace, the wholeness and vitality of this perfect presence. We affirm that the request in our prayer box and in our hearts and on our minds are being resolved in divine timing for the highest good of all concerned. We send love and light, not only to these people and circumstances, but to our community, our country and our world. May the love of God enfold us. May the peace of God uphold us. May the wisdom of God inspire us and help us to know in our hearts that all is well. And so it is. Now, please join me in the affirmation for today. I surrender to my highest good, that good, that God force within me, shines with joy and brings light and love to the world. I am called to serve and shine. And now the affirmation for our spiritual center. We give thanks that Unity of the Valley is a prosperous, thriving, inspired, and connected community. We are growing spiritually and manifesting our dreams and goals in an energy of love, peace, and joy. Namaste. And so now I'm gonna invite you into this time of reflection, of meditation, of getting quiet. We're going to start with this song and then move you into a meditation and we'll come back out with one of these choruses. So let's take a deep breath together. I will surrender to my greatest highest goal. I will release any fear that blocks my way. For every step I take is taken in pure faith. And I am stronger every moment, every day. My mind is willing and my heart is open. Trust my instincts and let spirit be my guide. I vow to live a life that's real and pure and free as I continue walking in this mystery. Sing with me. I surrender to my greatest, highest goal. I 
this month of November all those things you are grateful for and maybe it's things that we might take for granted like Zoom (laughs) those things in life that keep us connected through this pandemic I want you to breathe that all in for a few minutes I'm just going to let this music go on I'm going to ask you to even release that you can release your worries any fears you have but you're also going to release all those anything that we may hold on to that we think is our source of happiness we're going to give it all up we're just going to be with the fullness of that emptiness I believe I'm going right into my talk. Yes? All right. Did you feel that? Was that nice? (laughs) 
I need that too. You know, I'm a mom of two. My daughter, she, I'm teaching her kindergarten. It's called mommy's kooky kindergarten. <laughs> and my son is nine and, you know, they've been at home. And anyway, this is what I'm trying to say is this is a gift for me. Yes, to wake up early, but to get to share with you in this way is just so meaningful for, for me. So I'm going to be sharing about my, my own personal journey from that stage fright to spotlight hopefully sharing some nuggets along the way. If you have found fear and doubts have maybe stopped you even now from, from shining your light in brighter and bigger ways. So I'm going to take you back <laughs> to my first semester as a sophomore at College of Notre Dame. I'm going to take a quick sip of water here. It's in Northern California. And I was born and raised here in Hawaii. And uh, even though I, I see, I had decided or more like chickened out of going to Berkeley College of Music, which is a prestigious pop music school, because that's what I did. By the time I was a senior in high school, I had an all girls band, a manager. We toured the island. I released an original on an international label. And still that stage fright had me so that I thought... <laughs> What was real to me is that I can't do music. I'm not gonna to go to Boston and do music. Who, what am I thinking? Who, who, who am I? And yet this song came through me as a communications major for a talent show. And it was a message from the universe not to let the music die. So imagine a dark stage, a big long grand piano, a blue light, and this song that would change my life. Be free, the whole 
walls are falling down The music's breaking through the clouds Oh, won't you come and feel The warmth of the sun The beauty of a song that's been unsung So the song ends, thank you. And there was complete silence and then a thunderous applause like yours, I can hear you. <laughs> and I could see in the first row, you know, people were crying and this moment I'd wrote about in the song, which I wasn't connected to consciously. I just thought, ooh, what a beautiful piano part, you know, listen to those words. <laughs> Uh, the, the words I wrote about, about the music being heard came true in that moment. And it was just so much for me, you know, but that fear, I'll tell you, it got me, I ran back <laughs> stage because they were chanting, you know, they wanted what they call in Hawaii. Uh, um, now, of course, I'm forgetting the Hawaiian word, uh, a hanaho, which means like an encore. And I ran off stage and I told my boyfriend, my husband now, I said, I can't do this. So how many times have we, have you wanted to walk away from your own greatness, you know? And believe me, as I'll share in my journey, I did it over and over again. I, I said, no, not that door, that's not for me. And yet we know that there is more music, there is more brilliance that wants to be sung, not only by you, but sung through you. So I took that as my spiritual, you know, uh, two by four to the head. I'm like, okay, okay, I gotta do music. I went to Cal State Long Beach, I signed up for the commercial music program, found out commercial music was jazz, which I, you know, coming from Hawaii, did not know jazz. <laughs> and to get to the jazz, which was not pop music, I had to do classical music. So the, the, the golden nugget there is that there are curveballs that are thrown in our life, but there are blessings there. There are gifts for us. For me, because I went through the classical training and the jazz, um, it gave me so much in my musical toolbox that I could you know, have a really good, well, I think a good thriving music career. So curveballs are a blessing. That's one thing I want to say. And so after college, I started teaching voice lessons. I don't know how many of you have taken voice lessons, but my first student was Bert Mentor. He called me up, his voice shaking. He was in his seventies. He says, can, can I take lessons? I'm like, yeah, of course. I'm thinking you're my first student. Yes, please take lessons. <laughs> Well, he is, his voice is shaking, and all he talks about is when he was four years old and his mom took away his tap shoes. This man has been holding on for decades, right? His creativity that he put in the closet. So, you know, I'm this young girl. I'm like, yeah, come for lessons, you know. He shows up. Bert has one tooth. <laughs> Bert has emphysema, so he has a hard time breathing. He brings his Elvis Presley songs. He can't sing through them because he's crying. And you know, here I am, a new vocal teacher. I'm like, what am I gonna do? I mean, I was so panicked. I'm like, oh my God, what do we do? But golden nugget number two here is that I kept showing up. He and I both kept showing up. And do you know what we discovered? He was a good songwriter, even with no training. He poured himself into four songs dedicated to a young grocery clerk that he had fallen in love with. <laughs> Um, I, I remember one title, Queen of Hearts. We recorded it on my, you know, my little task cam. You know, it was really, it wasn't a fancy thing. We recorded his songs, all four of them, before he passed away a year later. This man came that close to not expressing what was his to share. Did it become a hit record? No. But did it bring him immense joy? Yes. Did it like bring tears to his daughter's eyes? to hear those songs and to play, yes. So it's never, never too late. So um, after, you know, I taught lessons, I also auditioned, it's everything you've heard of, nerve wracking. You know, I tried out for Miss Saigon when it first came out, I did all the Disney calls, Grand Old Opry. <laughs> and especially with my stage fright, right? 
uh, and I, I hadn't heard of Don Miguel Ruiz and his one of his agreements. Don't take things personally. When you have so much fear and doubt, you take everything personally. So yes, I quit. You know, I quit. I think I tried three months. <laughs> uh, and I became a, what was it, a file clerk at Michelson Laboratory. And this is Southern California, you know, where I had gone to Cal State Long Beach. Uh, but I'm a go-getter. So in six months, I found myself, I was the assistant to the vice president. <laughs> so here I am on a summer day, uh, overlooking the company picnic I had planned for hundreds of people. They're doing potato sack race and, you know, egg toss, I don't know. And I'm just looking at the scene. Have you been there where you're just like, okay, this is good, but I, I don't think I'm supposed to be, this is not the scene <laughs> I'm meant for. So, I mean, that's another nugget. You have to check in and not ignore those feelings, that intuition that's like, maybe there's something else. And so, of course, I auditioned again. My first big uh, professional job, I was flown to Taj Mahal. We had a little girl group, pink pleather jackets and dancers, and we sang, we are family. You guys know, we <laughs> to thousands of Vietnamese. Who, it, it was a huge Vietnamese concert. And because they couldn't say my name, Faith, my name was Laura, <laughs> you know? And so, uh, and, and here's another thing that I, I have to pat myself on the back. Through the fear, I did it anyway. Through the fear, we keep showing up. You know, especially reverends. I don't know if any of you are licensed unity teachers. Any of those callings, you know, whatever your career is, you do it anyway. And so I found myself um, shortly. I was a keyboard player for Xavier. He was a signed artist to the Interscope label. He was like Prince. In fact, his managers were the ones who managed Prince. And here I was. I, by the way, I didn't tell you. I went to Catholic school 13 years, you know, just shy and conservative, whatever you want to call that. And I'm going across country with this band in an RV playing, you know, House of Blues, LA to House of Blues, New Orleans. But like I said, there are, there are always signs along the way. So one day after our concert, we're in the RV and Xavier, who barely ever talks to me, we're all sweaty, you know, from the gig. And he just says, Faith. And I said, yes. I'm like, he's talking to me. All he said was, you have to do your own thing. And so, <laughs> you know, I think, you know, when you're just ready to hear it, I mean, it wasn't a big statement, but to me, I'm like, oh, I have to just do my own thing. So from there, I stopped auditioning. I launched my record label and I started my first album, which was called In Search of Faith. And it really was my exploration of who I am. Because by the way, Faith is not my first name. Faith is my middle name, okay? My name is Esther Faith Rivera. And to me, Esther was that scared, frightened girl that kept giving up. Faith was this superhero, you know, that I could step into. And so it really helped me to have something, you know, some marker that I could grow into. So I think that's really useful. I, I think, you know, if there's some fears you're going through to, you know, yeah, take your middle name <laughs> no, or, or rename yourself. <laughs> but that's what I did. And um, I was able to slowly change the story of this girl who was so shy and had so much stage fright. Um, but it, it wasn't easy, you know. Um, definitely my spiritual walk had a big part of it. Who read Conversations with God? Neil Donald Walsh. Anyone? Yeah, okay. I started reading those books and I loved the empowering belief structure. It showed that, that definitely gave me more responsibility for my experience. So here I was in LA trying to make it in the music industry, okay? And I'm reading his books. And I see that Neil, you know, Neil Donald Walsh, is putting on this humanities team retreat. And in, by the way, this humanities team is still around doing incredible work, if you look them up. And he, it was a free retreat for all the people that wanted to live those spiritual principles deeper. So I wanted to go. It was free. I just had to get myself to Oregon. It was near Portland, Oregon. So I tell my husband, and this is left field, okay? We, I've never gone to anything like this. I, you know, we're young. I'm trying to make in the music industry. And I want to spend money to go there. So my husband says, okay, if you want to go to this weird thing, <laughs> this weird thing, um, you have to use the money you've been saving to replace your college keyboard. 
which a keyboard is important to a musician, right? And I said, well, you know, I'm going to do it. I just felt I needed to do it, even though it didn't make any sense. And then, of course, he says, you have to bring me. <laughs> so we go. And not only do we meet Neil Donald Walsh and all these other speakers that I would end up working with uh, in the future at conferences, but I met what I want to say, people like you. I met people who had open hearts, people that cared about a, a, a kinder world, people who dreamed, you know, that didn't care what their age was. So that was so huge for me. And I remember sitting in that audience and I swear I felt Neil walk straight to me and he said, what if you're the first domino to fall? I was like, oh, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, he just, he just had me all excited. And the, the idea that I got from that is, if you are the first domino to fall, what if you need to do what you're supposed to do, play your part for all the other things that are supposed to happen, you know, behind your saying yes, you know, like, that just feels so important. It's bigger than my fear. It's bigger than your doubts. You know, I, I had to let my domino fall, you know, that whole idea that the world is waiting for you. Uh, so, you know, I went and wrote so many songs based on this experience, and I'll share more about that later. But in one of the breakouts, I had a partner, his name was Guy, and we were talk about we were going to talk about how can we serve? How can you serve? Well, as you can tell, I can I was so excited, right? I was like, it was a left turn, but it was my left, right? That was my left. And I was so excited. So of course I'm saying, I can do music, I can, you know, I can sing, I'm a leader, da da da. So I say my whole spiel, and Guy says, he goes, Well well, I can't cook. I'm not a gardener. And he was probably in his 60s. So he was an older man. I mean, he had tried all these things. I'm not very creative. I'm not a leader. I can't build anything. And I'm like, oh, where's this man going? <laughs> Where is he going? And he stopped and he said, I can love. And like, he just said it so like, that's my part. I can love. And I knew in that moment that everyone could serve. You know, from your gift, from your passion, from your natural tendencies, from your humor. Mark, I'm going to be thinking on that unicorn, unihorn thing for a while. <laughs> um, and here are some words of inspiration. Martin Luther King says, everybody can be great because anybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace, a soul generated by love. Now that's you. That's me. That's all of us. And Mother Teresa says, love cannot remain by itself. It has no meaning. Love has to be put into action, and that action is service. And it's service to others, to your community. So in that moment, I think it dawned on me that I could shine my light. You could shine your light. You could shine what is yours to shine. And through that sharing, that it serves others, you know, um, the retreat, this gathering, Humanities Team, was being hosted by Mary Manon Morrissey. If any of you know her, it was called the Living Enrichment Center. And it was the largest New Thought ministry of its kind, maybe even to this day, you know. And I did it. I had no clue. I just said yes to be there. And I, I volunteered to sing at her center since I was there. Had no clue there was a, you know, waiting list of artists. She chose my song, uh, Kumbaya, which I'm not sharing this time, but next time it's a law of attraction song, actually based on conversations with God. And, you know, she quoted my lyrics in her talk. There were three services, a thousand people in every service. Again, I didn't have any clue, right? I sold more CDs in one morning than I sold in a year. I had found my calling, you know? through doing those nuggets that I shared, I just kept showing up. I did it anyway, you know, through the fear. And I would try my best to listen to that intuition, to those nudges. And this is what's amazing is, I mean, that's what launched me into what I, I did as a, do as a new thought artist. But not only that, you know, when I said yes to that, that was the same year. I won an Emmy for writing a song um, on a TV show. And that's a whole other story unto itself, which spirit, you know, played out. So you don't know what is in store for you when you say that yes. 
and I was being called to step into my greatness. And I like to think for the betterment of all that you are being called to whatever you're being called to um, for the betterment of all. And it's brought so much more peace and and fun. Um, and as that song said in the I will surrender, sometimes we don't know what that whole picture is. We're just being asked to say yes to whatever that next thing is, to take that voice lesson, to start your garden, to volunteer for the church, you know, to, to start your youth, whatever it is, you know what it is. Um, and, and it could be, it could be something grand, but it could also be like, you know what, I'm a funny person. I'm going to like say more jokes like Mark. Like, I love how, like he works his way in. You got to work your magic, you know, in there. So I'm going to end uh, I don't know how fast I've talked. Oh my gosh. I think I've gone so fast blazing through this. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> uh, I'm going to share my fav absolute favorite qu quote that carried me through all of this. And you probably know it. Marianne Williamson's quote that Nelson Mandela, you know, said, and it's our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and famous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. I have to say that to myself a lot. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that, other, oh, so that people won't feel insecure around you. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in all of us. And when we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. I love that line. I love that line. As we are liberated from, from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. That is powerful. So... I know you gather together at church or, uh, you know, on Zoom, and sometimes you may not know the part you play that it's so important, so welcome, and so needed, but I'm here to say that it is, you know, one little yes and what it could lead to. And forget about the outer part, right, of the service that can touch others. What about your own joy and your own up-leveled happiness? That's worth it. That's worth it. So... I didn't know I was going to give you an assignment, but I am. <laughs> and I'm going to ask Peggy to uh, let me know how you're, you're all doing. I, I would just love to know what's something you can do this week uh, to step more into, you know, that joy. Uh, and, you know, you can leave it at that because I believe when you step more into your joy, something that lifts your heart, it's better for the whole world. Even if it's a cookie you make or even if it's you just self-care. Oh my gosh, self-care for any of you caretakers out there. Your joy, it's uh, what's it's infectious. It's infectious. So um, we are being called to nothing less than greatness. I truly believe that. So I'm going to close with this song, Called to Be, which I wrote for Mary Man and Morrissey's church the second time I went for their... Uh, fall in faith or faith in fall you know what I mean the thing that happens at fall <laughs> but I want you to think about what are you being called to now I am called to be a healer for all humanity I am called to be a dreamer believe in what can be I am called to be a maker be an instrument of peace. I am called to be a giver of abundance I receive. I am called to be a prayer, living out the truth I seek. I am called to be everything. to be the glory here on earth so all might see all the love and all the beauty that shines in you and me 
friends of me. You are called to be a neighbor. See a friend in all you meet. You are called to be a leader. To build community. You are called to be a prayer. Living out the truth you seek. You are called to be My goodness, uh, wonderful faith. And I'll, uh, I don't know if anybody else noticed, obviously the words are just fantastic, but what I'm captivated by is your your beautiful smile and you keep smiling while you sing. I, I've never really noticed that. And it's uh, until I kept watching you, it, it's uh, it's kind of, uh, I don't know what the words I'm looking for, but uh, uh, it, it's uh, it's cool to see. So thank you, thank you so much. Also, thank you for your, your talk. Uh, the nuggets were fantastic. Um, so interesting that song, how that changed the trajectory. I think music for me is is so important in my life. Uh, everybody has to have something that keeps you like I, I don't get depressed very often because if I ever start to feel down a little bit, I have songs in my playlist always that I can go to and I'll play a song and it just gets me in a good mood just like that. And and that's what I love about music. So um, it's it's so cool to hear that story about how it, it, it changed your whole trajectory. So. Thank you so much, Faith. Um, in this time of COVID and Zoom, we still have considerable exp expenses to maintain our beautiful center in anticipation of our eventual return. All of us who are fond of and connected to Unity of the Valley are immensely grateful for your monetary contributions to keep our spiritual community going and thriving, as well as your participation in our services. 
We affirm the natural expansion of our own prosperity as well as that of unity of the valley, as we give our time, talents, and treasure with the high vibration of gratitude and an open heart. Let's read the love offering affirmation together, and then you'll have time during the musical interlude to consider your love offering. You may make your contribution after the service, either by mailing a check to the center or via the donate button on their website. Thank you again for your support. Please join me in this love offering affirmation. Divine love flowing through me blesses and multiplies all that I give, all that I receive, and all that I am. All right. All righty, so while you're considering that tide, tithe, <laughs> I'm going to ask you to sing along to this little light of mine. It's a little different. It's my version, but it's okay. I know you got it. This little light of mine. What are you doing? I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. Oh, I'm out in for the morning. Now I invite everyone to join me in blessing all contributions and good of any kind so generously given to support Unity of the Valley this week. Together, we affirm that God is our source and we are the channels. We bless these gifts given in love that serve our spiritual family and flow out into our community and beyond. We are prosperous and blessed with abundant good. Thank you. Mother, Father, God. All right, we have a few short announcements. Uh, 
please see our weekly buzz or our website for more details. First, before we get into our um, uh, announcements, uh, Faith is going to give us a quick uh, announcement about her material. Thank you, Mark. I just thought <clears throat> if those songs resonated with you, especially um, the, during the talk, Call to Be and Don't Let the Music Die, even The World is Waiting for You, which I wrote you know, from that experience, they're all in this best of CD and journal, which has the lyrics. Um, and it's on my website. And of course, you can do a download too, but you won't get the book. But it's called The World is Waiting for You. So it'll help guide you, you know, if you're looking for music. And I am on all the streaming platforms. And don't hesitate to you know, write to me. If you go to faithrivera.com, uh, you know, you can email me there. And also, if you feel like you want to sign up, you know, to know more about what I'm doing, you do get some free music, including, I think, this little light of mine. So thank you again for letting me share my music. If it can support you on your path, it would be my honor. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Faith. Make sure you check that out. It sounds like a, some, a great place to get all your, your wonderful stuff. So all right. Uh, announcements. First of all, uh, don't miss the free live meditation at 11 a.m. every Tuesday morning at on Unity of the Valley's Facebook page. The same guided and silent meditation of about a half hour is simultaneously being offered at Unity Village and other Unity centers. Next, uh, every Wednesday via Zoom from 7 to 8, 15 p.m., you can join Lynn Woodland's Miracles course for a donation of any amount to Unity of the Valley per class. You may take any number of classes you like. A donate button is on our website and a Zoom link for classes is under the classes tab and also in our weekly buzz. Catherine Belisle's monthly max meditation of guided and silent meditation plus visualization is coming up Monday, November 23rd from 7 to 8 p.m. The love offering of $10 while we're meeting online goes to our center. Thank you, Catherine. Deborah Engel's excellent classes are available as individual recordings for $15 each now or a special price of all five for only $50, which is a substantial savings of $25. Tune in next Sunday when Deborah will deliver our, the message for our pre-Thanksgiving service and Claire Vandegrommert will provide our music. Again, please check out the Buzz or our website for class topics and other details to register for a class or other recordings. Oh, and also don't forget, November 29th, we've got Nuri Hasamuni will present our message with Rachel Holder Henning on music. If you don't receive the weekly buzz and would like to, you can opt in on our website, unityofthevalleymn.org, or email us at info at unityofthevalleymn.org. You may submit prayer requests for our prayer chaplains at the same email or ask a prayer chaplain to call you. We also encourage you to subscribe to our Unity of the Valley YouTube channel, like our Unity of the Valley Facebook page, or visit our website to learn more about us. Please now join me for our prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds me, I am that light. The love of God enfolds me, I am that love. The power of God protects me, I am that power. The presence of God watches over me, I am that presence. Wherever I am, God is. Wherever God is, I am. And all is well. And my quotation for the week, I think it works perfectly with what you were talking about. From Pablo Picasso, the meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. And uh, thank you again for joining us. Please be well. Stay connected with Unity. And if you'd like to be part of the social after the service, please stay logged in and say hi to your Unity friends and guests. Be happy, stay healthy, and let's join faith in our closing song called Together. Ooh, all right. So you can repeat after me on the verses as you feel led. And on the courses, there's a lot of oh yes, ahas, and oh weos. Are we ready to do this? Show me your enthusiasm. All right. Together, we take a stand for love. Together, we make a change for good. Together. We break the chains of sorrow together. We live the truth. Oh, together, together, we raise our voice for peace. Together, we sing and jump for joy. Truth. <clears throat> In every part.
Yeah. 